How has money rewired our brains? So money is a, is a stimulant, right? So again, the brain scans of people who are high on cocaine, we start to think, oh, maybe we can win money, and we start to anticipate. It's actually interesting. The anticipation of money is more exciting than money itself. Hmm. Yeah. And so when, you, when, peop, when people think they're going to win money, their uh, nucleus accumbens, their reward center starts firing. It's like, like, like this is all this neural activity. And then when they get the money, their excitement level sort of drops. Uh. This can even be done for like in the television business. You know when you do a tease, it's like, oh, coming up, we have so-and-so as a guest. Mm. That tease is more exciting to the audience than maybe the interview itself. Right. So this principle, like sort of the idea of expected gain is so rewarding to us. Is that how things like gambling problems sure. <laughs> develop sure. so easily? Yeah, gambling problems are is an addictive behavior. And one thing that money induces is also testosterone. So, so or any any um, uh, certain types of hormones. So, for example, if they took um, uh, cheek swaps of people traders in the London trading pit, and they found that sure enough that during market volatility, market volatility, there was more periods of volatility uh, of testosterone being evoked mm. in traders. So they found testosterone was a, there was correlation between market volatility, riskier behavior, uh, yeah, and testosterone yeah. levels. And then they took they asked people to inhale testosterone nasal sprays. And after people took these sprays, people made more volatile investment decisions. Wow. So it's always a um, money is, is being governed by our genetics and our genes and our hormones. <laughs> yeah.